Team E8. Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. Uh, today, we are going to be doing a little, um, well, I got to clarify a few things first. So let's just get back in here. Uh, first things first. Uh, where is it? Where did I put it? I think it was over here. Yeah, it's over here. So these, you don't plant gacnip here. They're just standing plats that produce carbon all the time, which I didn't know, but I do know now. And what do you get? How many do you get? It varies, looks like. So I got tons of carbon now, which is awesome. All right, that was the first thing I wanted to clarify. Next thing, um, I found out what uh, this, the nip nip. Oh, building requirements. Oh, that's a lot. Well, not really. A gek nip and then uh, 10 kelp sacks, which I think you find underwater, but uh, not enough resources. Um, it can be planted in hydroponic domes or the uh, planter box type things but we are going to talk to him and we are going to get that the, the, the dome I don't think I bought it I seen it and I was like oh that's cool looking but then I never actually got it I do believe yeah see this biodome here now it is what we need to start growing things which is efficient uh, easier I should say than other things and then also I want to go and find a new planet um because this one is well it's good and all but I think we can do better so what we're gonna do is off camera I crafted a few items and I just noticed I'm kind of yelling at you guys, so let me lower this down a tad. And we're going to lower down the game audio a tad, too. That should be better. Yeah. Okay. So, um, off camera, I did make a few more warp drives, just three of them, which will get us to our next destination along the train. But um, on the way there... We are going to search the uh, new um, galaxies and see what we can, what planets we get. Because I would really like to find a paradise planet or maybe a uh, flourishing planet or a uh, something like that. Along those lines, anyways. Uh, and while we're at it. We're also going to talk about this dude over here. Um, he gives you missions, which is really cool. Part of the Atlas Rising update. Now, I can't understand what he says, but... Um, Lifeform and offers missions to accept, which you can do. So you go in here, and it lists a whole bunch of missions you can do. Now, these ones are locked. You have to be level 5 three seven three and so on but eliminate sentinels that is a good one because I can actually um, do it on any planet which is really cool so I can go back to our uh, low sentinel planet and do it there uh, collect an item Ooh, another sentinel assault. That's cool. We got two of them. All right. Um, find a missing person. Oh, we'll, we'll we'll get it. And the last one I think was a collect item. Yeah. Ooh, look how many units we can get for that. That's pretty good. Alright. So, there. 
We got four missions we can do. Yep, have a good day, sir. Um, so we are going to head out to our uh, ship here. Ooh, that's that's a nice ship. Wonder how much. Let's see. Let's just compare. Um, it is a C class. I think mine's a C class too, right? Yeah, they're both C classes. So, exchange for 200 units. Um, mine has 15 slots. It has 60. Eh, it's not worth it. Anyways, um, let's take a look what we got here. Undiscovered planet. Let's scan it real quick. Life and capable planet. Nope. Baron. No, thank you. Forsaken and a moon. Uh, Oh, did I miss it? I did. Vibrant moon. Okay, so th there's nothing of um, importance there. Uh, let's see, pulse engine. Did I? I did not fill it up yet. Okay, good. Uh, so. Let's do that. There we go. All right, X. Let's head on out and see what we can find. Um, we're gonna follow the red line, of course, and see what we got going on. Now, uh, how do I zoom out again? I, I can never remember. Well, you just pull it out. So this is a habitable base. This is a destination. What do you mean destination? Whoa. Destination for what? Let's see. It is ran by the Valkyrie. Uh, data is unknown. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's go there. There's quite a bit of planets and stuff, so we'll be able to uh, hopefully find a decent planet. I mean, it's a Valkyrie one, so uh, it might be it might be a uh, kind of a waste. But at the same time, what's this planet? Acidic. We got fungal mold, ember, incoming message. What do we got? Incoming transmission. Source unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. I'm identify myself. You left me. Why did you? No, no, no. Tell them you're sorry. Yeah. Don't lie to me. You. Even the others did not. 
There is no reply. The communication falls silent, though the channel remains open. Weird. Uh, coordinates to a strange... Let's see, awakening coordinates. Stranger's coordinates, yeah. Lifeless planet. That's not a good one either. that beeping let's see I just noticed my camera's a little tad bit too high for me there we go Arctic planet ooh frost crystals we should go there and emeralds and iridium that's not bad um, before I do that though let's real quick Scan the rest of the planets. Nuclear planet. There's gamma root there. I heard that's pretty good. We should definitely start farming gamma root. Um, I hear it's. Ooh, there's a planet hide in there. Ah, uh, I missed my chance. Overgrown. <gasps> Star buds. Ooh, that might be a good one. We're going to have to check that one out uh, afterwards. What? Let's go to this. Stranger's coordinates. All right, four, three, two, one. All right, my count was off. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Yeah, this solar system would be really good if I made a base here just because it has frost crystals, it has gamma root, you know, and emeralds, iridium. Oh, it has some good stuff on it. It would definitely be worth settling down here. And tons of stuff to explore. Oh, my only issue is that it's um, controlled by the Viking which is a more um, military race, which means these might be sentinel planets, very heavily guarded planets, which would be really bad for us, potentially. But we are going to definitely give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Ooh, dropping down to 12, 10, Twenty-six. All right, nice, nice. My frames per second. Whoa. What do you mean landing not clear? Let me take a look down there. What we got going on? What? Um. Ah, there's where I'm supposed to be going. Whoa. Whoa. Oh no. Ooh, what's this? Is this what I think it is? There's emerald. Thermal something. Ooh. Signal beacon. Okay, I need a uh, Okay, I can repair that one. And I can repair that one. All right, we got it open. So what we got here? Um, zit, zit, zat. There are no signs of life. There is only the static of a broken communicator. Hmm. Extract records. Uh, whatever message was once here has now been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extracted is the pilot's name, Artemis. There is little more to be found here. Whoever Artemis is, they are long gone. Huh. Artemis, huh? This is a very big one, isn't it? This is a B class, right? 
alone amongst the stars. It is, and it has 21 slots. Um, my only issue is I just put two, uh, warp drives into, uh, my thing. So, it's in the technology spot, though. Nothing. Huh, but we have more damage capability, and it's worth quite a bit more already. Um, what's this do? Hmm. This is a hard choice. Um. Man, what to do, what to do. I don't know. I mean, that's really a hard decision. Um, it's a better ship in the long run, and I'll be able to get more storage. It's worth more. But those hyperdrives, uh, let's see what it takes again. The warp drives, I mean, uh, antimatter, antimatter, hydrium, zinc, bullet vapor, suspension fluid, which we have to buy, which isn't too bad. It's actually affordable. Yeah, we can do this. We, we can definitely switch this up. Um, but what we're going to want to do is uh, dismantle everything we can. Uh, let's see, technology. Oh, we can't. Oh, that sucks. All right. Ooh, Corvax cube. Okay, so let's get the first thing we need. Which is going to be Was it just out of fuel for the launcher? You know what? I actually might have enough stuff on me just to repair it. Uh pulse We need oh that, that We're gonna have to go buy that. Man. Is there a beacon? Somewhere? No, there's not. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to find this again. Uh, plutonium. Emeralds. Let's see if I can build this. Uh, I need iron. Okay, I can get iron real quick. Uh...
What's this? Oh, Sentinels. Minimal. Okay. Alright. So we need to find resource deposit. How far away is that? Whoa! The camera started doing funny things. Uh, what's that say? Is that three minutes? Yeah, three minutes away. Man, oh man. If I lose it, I'm going to be really mad at myself because I de deconstructed that uh, thing. There's a lot of plutonium and stuff here. It's kind of crazy. But I think that's actually enough. So. Of course not. Still not enough. Damn it. <laughs> Twenty five percent. Is that enough? No. Da -da 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 There's some. One of six. All right. Let's get all of this. Well, good. <laughs> 
All right. Let's get back in our ship, head back to that other ship, fix it up, and get out of here. Okay, it was right next to that. Down in a crater. Am I heading towards the wrong one? Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Why am I spinning like that? Emeralds. Man, did I lose it? Wait, 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 wait. What's this over here? Oh, that's a drop pod right there, though. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop spinning. Stop spinning. Holy crap, this stuff is like everywhere. Is that it? No, 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 no. That's the hill. So, should be just down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What are you doing? Here. Is it man? Um, control? No. General options. go okay where is it so I flew past that I was like oh I should probably stop there but I didn't man there is a lot of it in, uh, Not ember. A lot of uh, emerald. Man, I seen that freaking drop pod too, and I lost it as well.
Okay, I can only land once, and then I'll have to get stuff again. Okay, I need to set this to drag again, I think. I think I conditioned myself to enjoy that. Is that it? No, oh, that's just a broke machine. <laughs> oh my gosh. The lag is crazy. Okay, see that that wasn't even there. Man, I lost it. Oh well, at least we don't get to uh, lose our uh, We don't get to lose our uh, our ship. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I need to land that. that. Things are... Uh, is it in this? Damage numbers. I actually want that on. Ah, here we go. Tether. Tether. There we go. Uh, I knew that was going to happen too. I was like, I can't land until I'm ready. Oh, hey. <laughs> I landed right next to this stuff. There's some kind of thing down there too. I forgot I had that carbon. Okay. There we go. A night crystal. What's that? I don't know, but there is a lot. Ooh, Gek Charm. Nice. Did I really get the plutonium from that? Huh. Beads. Now, I was just saying that there was tons of plutonium. Now when I actually need it, I land in a spot with none. <laughs> oh, oh, there's some. Let's 
let's put some more fuel in you. There we go, now we can take off. Now what, what did I tear off this? Nothing, apparently. Rockets. That's what I took off it. Oh, that sucks. Okay, um... Yes, I know my life support is failing. Uh, P. Let's see. Reseed a set of uh, coordinates. I followed the signal and found the wreckage of an abandoned ship. There was little to be gained from the wreck, but the distress beacon contained the hailing frequency labeled Artemis. There is nothing for it but to continue exploring. Search for clues about Artemis. Answers may be found in the stars. Okay, so. What one was that? This? Cave Marrow. Oh my gosh, guys. We need to go get rid of some stuff um so we are gonna head to the stars more specifically we are heading to the station over here whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. we got a something going on here whoa whoa wrong with uh, I can hear them there is a moment moments pause the only sound I hear is the background hiss of cosmic radiation you you found me there's so little light I thought I'd never hear another soul again I really did how did you find my voice say, yeah say you found the front I I tell the stranger about the abandoned Starship wreck and how I found their communicator ID in the distress beacon. It's outside, but I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They look like. Ask where they are. Fear and confusion dances within the eyes of the stranger. After a few moments of silence, they turn to me, imploring. You don't know who you are, do you? You... It lied to me. It lied to all of us. The sound cuts out, but their face lingers on, silent before it too fades into nothingness. Artemis needs my help. I need to find a way to boost the signal. Okay. Hollow Terminus. Man, my mouse is like sticking. It's really unsettling. Alright, let's go to this space station real quick. Dang, it must be really far away. Like, far enough where I might actually not make it. Holy moly. Yep, I didn't make it. Alright, 
I think that's enough iron. All right, let's get to this space station. Whoa, what's going on? Four, three, two, one. Whoa. And <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay, we're in. So the story thickens. I mean, the plot thickens, not the story, guys. <laughs> but uh, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, we got to find this Artemis, so we had to strengthen the signal by probably heading out and... Ooh, that looks like my ship, but better. I like it. Perfect. Uh, okay, hi. <laughs> it's a warrior. Um, let's sell some of my stuff because I need to. Ooh, that sells for a lot. Gek charm. Alright. Uh, let's get rid of all this junk. And... Let's see, we are going to need Gecknip. Huh. Cool. Okay. Um, but we are going to need uh, a plutonium. That's what I'm looking for. We need to power our ship. We need fuel. There we go. It, you know. Nothing too crazy. Just 500 or so. <laughs> there we go. Now we can use this. Do that. Um, I'm gonna need iron too, but we can go back to our planet and get iron from our base. Um, and we can get the cave marrow too while we're there. But I need to hit P, Artemis. Locate a long distance transmitter to reestablish connection with Artemis. First, locate a long distance transmitter. Transmitter holographic communications towers can be found on many plants, such as a device might be powerful enough to establish a stable connection. So, if I head back to our base and search there for it, will it update and find a planet close enough there? We'll find out. But also, I think I have enough to turn in one of our quests. So we're going to do that too, real quick. Oh, no. Never mind. Let's head back in here. So these portals hold up to four locations you've been to. Uh, this is the location of a missing person, which I gotta go do eventually. 
and my base of course and then this one will be on there too now um All right, we are back. So, um, let's see if there's any cave marrow out and about while I go and get this iron. Emerald, wait. I don't remember having emerald on my planet. Thought I oh, wait a minute. Okay, I already scanned this. Alright, that should be enough to charge this up. Um, yeah, that's about it for that. Uh, we're gonna charge this baby up with carbon. Cause I can get that anywhere now. I mean, I'm growing it for crime any sake. Should be easy. All right, so there's actually not a uh, cave nearby. So we are gonna head back here. Uh, transmit this, there we go. All right, guys, now that we're back, I'm going to call this an end of an episode. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Bye. Hey, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, hit that like button. It lets me know if you want me to continue the series or not. Um, if you want to continue to support this channel even more, you can head on over to the Patriot channel. There should be a link right next to my head. Um, and... We have um, exclusive content over there, like uh, day early videos, uh, game playing games with me, um, exclusive content that you can only get by becoming a Patreon. And the coolest thing is, as low as a dollar a month. Um, thanks again for watching, and have a good day. Bye.